We can't stop winning. Not winning, but just being, broadly speaking, above average. We're not exclusively crunching. We're just doing okay. We're doing an all right job. It's too damaged to any target. The ring tempts you. Ooh. Gandalf sanction. Gollum's bite. Ooh. Sauron's ransom. Mmm. Ooh, I want most of the cards that are here. Um. <sighs> Go green. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's probably going to be one of these two. One of these one mana guys. This is really good card draw in a format with not a lot of good card draw. All right, I'm just gonna get the I'm just gonna get the ransom. I'm just getting the ransom, getting the ransom. In frightened me a little bit, dude. All right, I, I'm gonna mark this. What else do we have here? We have oh, smite the deathless. Ah, uh, I think I want Smite the Deathless. I think I want this. I think I want this. I think I want Smite the Deathless. Ranger's Firebrand is really good, but Smite the Deathless is really, 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 really good. Okay, I'm seeing some good stuff. If you draw a card we have no cards in hand, draw two cards. If you gain life, we have five less life. You gain twice that much. Hmm. I think I want to be a little bit more proactive. Ah, uh, dude. Dunlin Crabane is just so good, man. So nasty. I think the Oath of the Grey Host is the one that I want. Yeah, it's preening champion. Yeah, no, it's just, it's really, really damn good. I don't know if I'm supposed to take this or if I'm supposed to take this. Having a bunch of flyers for sacrificing? Hmm. I'm gonna get this one. Fiery Inscription. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it deals two damage to each opponent. Ooh, dude. Dude, I want that one. Oh, but I, I think... Gutter Snipe Enchantment? I think the Erebor Flamesmith is going to be better. I wish I'd gone mono red, man. I wish I hadn't picked this garbage or this garbage, man. I expect that this will wheel. All right, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Fiery Inscription... And what we need with this is we need is it blue stuff. Oh. We need like this sort of thing. All right. So we are looking for. Actually, oh shit, we got some great black here. Whoa. Dunlin Crabane. We also have the Merkwood Bats. I think I think uh, Dunlin Crabane is truly insane. Fiery inscription. Also want some of these. I think Dunlin Crabane is where I want to be. I think. I'm going to claim. I have a suspicion that. Alright, I'm going straight for the Roram Lancer. Lancer in a Pantser. Gets me absolutely to Dancer. I'm not a fan of any of these. Except the Generous Ent. I think it's sweet. Okay, Arwen's Gift. Scry two, then draw two. Great. Treason of Isengard, which is alright for what we're, what we're going for, but... Yo, are we just... Are we just... Is it Fiery Inscription? Is that, is, that what we, is that what we backed up into? I 
think I think. Yeah, I think I think I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for it. All right, this is it. Return non-token creature to its owner's hand. The ring tempts you. Great. All right. Oh yeah. Oh man, I just wish I'd committed a little harder to red. <laughs> no way. No way. Oh yeah. Oh, give me every flame smith in your pockets. All right, so let's let's Treason of Isengard, Arwen, Soothing a Smeagol, Smite. There we go. Yeah, no, we're 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 doing pretty we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty pretty good. Oh, this is gonna be fun as hell. Dude, give me another fiery inscription, shall we? Ah. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Yes. I don't, I don't really think Soren's Ransom can get run. I don't think so. It would be really nice to run because it just gives us a lot of optionality. <gasps> I don't have any water. I love water. Everyone stay put. Stay there. Something good happen, and it's. What is this? First pick, Peller Gear Survivor. All right. All right, I guess it's a Peller Gear Survivor. Yep. That's that. Did we lose connection? Is everyone still here? Oh my god, please tell me I'm still here. Please tell me you're still here. Is the stream still on? Oh god. Everyone was just so quiet. Oh. Huh. I need this deck to pan out. Are you kidding me? We got like an 11th pick Erebor Flamesmith. Crazy Monkey says, how are you? I'm stressed. What is happening here? Turd Gohan? Just me. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna see what's ha happening in my email. That's just what I'm gonna do. Go to Gmail. What's Sean at Myself.com doing? People email me today? No, no emails at all. Dude, chill mongers, this is Dan. How are you, you beautiful specimen of a human? Dude, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, yo, look, we got another Erebor Flamesmith. Dude, this is this is good. Erebor Flamesmith and a fiery inscription. Oh my god, dude, come on. So good. Chick drummers is watching from work. Nerd shop is empty for the fourth. Really? Yeah, I guess I guess the one night a year when you can just get out there and Set the world on fire. Yeah, I mean. Dude. My guy, tired Gohan. <laughs> Gohan. <laughs> Kronak said, did you manage to relax a little during your vacation, or was it mostly just another work that's not streaming? Oh, it was so nice. It was so nice. We just walked around and had a nice time. It was really great. It was actually just really lovely. Hung out on the beach. Oh man, you know, I, I actually, I'm thinking we just get Lorien revealed. Because the fact of the matter is, like, we're, we're going to be as low to the ground as our body can handle. And I'd rather not have a metal door. I'd rather have a lot of these. This can potentially permit us to run fewer lands. Did you end up playing on the Steam Deck on the beach like you said you would? I didn't even unzip it. It's still in the backpack. Didn't even take it out. Returns two target creatures to their owner's hand. Scry one? Oh my god. Yeah, I think this is exactly what the doctor ordered, huh? 
delay, 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 right? I'm gonna look at these other cards. Man, I got nothing going on here anymore. Oh, dude. Kith Lane Knots? I think it's actually what we want. We want a lot of these. Oh, it's a Kith Lane Knot, not a Hith... Okay, okay, it's Hith Lane. I think we want a lot of these. Lots and lots and lots of these things. Dude, if I can, if I can get to, like, five of these, we're doing it. Is this standard legal? No, unfortunately. Low to the ground or low to the ground? Oh, that's such a good one, Cronax. Fuck yeah. Oh, we got another Airborne Flamesmith. Flamesmith, corner pocket. I think Airborne Flamesmith is ridiculously good. I mean, I think that it is spectacularly, unbelievably mega giga good. I think it's mega giga good. <laughs> Now, here's an interesting question. Do I want a birthday escape? Or do I want this one? I think I think I actually should go for the birthday escape. Oh, dude, hell yeah, another Hithlane Knots. Yeah, birthday escape seems like an insanely good card. Because, like, if you can get a couple of these, you can rapidly uh, get a ring bearer to be dealing four damage. The one that it has, and then the three on this final step. War beast of gurgle block. Get out of here. Flamesmith is this set's bait. I don't, I think you're, I think you are, respectfully, you're fucking wrong, dude. <laughs> Love this flamesmith. Pew, pew. Uh, yeah, these are all bad, so I'm gonna pick this. Uh, pick the one that has seven chapters. I've been winning with it. No one likes Gimli's Axe. God, I can't wait to go 7-0 and with the Erebor Flamesmith. And rub it in everyone's maces. <laughs> um, I mean, I actually think that Elrond is pretty good. Scry 1. It's good for a little deck like ours. Um, what's this one? Isildur's Fateful Strike. Wow, holy shit, a legendary. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm not sure we're going to run any of these. Pull this out. Let me, I guess, grab this. We have enough draw with these two in this one. Fire Avocado says, "What would be, what would your favorite movie be if you could replace one word in the title with Grand?" Uh, I assume that it would be my. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, it would be my favorite movie. Uh, Sin City would get replaced with Sin Grand. <laughs> <laughs> Sin Grand. I mean, that's fucking awesome, dude. Now, now, my, my favorite movie is actually Aliens, but, uh, yeah, Grand City is not nearly as fun as Sin Grand. 
Singrond is way funnier, man. I'm telling you, it's way funnier. There's an Airborne Flamesmith, but we'll get that one. Get that one on the wheel. Counter spell, a mass orcs. Well, Singrond. <laughs> Beverly Hills Grand. Wizard Styles, that's fucking really, really funny, man. Charlie and the Grand Factory. Oh, God, these ones are really good. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the counter spell. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, God, I really want another Airborne Flamesmith. Look at the Battle Scarred Goblin. <laughs> What's this one do again? Whenever you scry, put a burst counter, exile, draw a card. Oh no, get me out of here. Uh, almost certainly isolation at Orthonk. I really hope I get that other Erebor Flamesmith, because this, this deck is nearly fantastic. <laughs> Dude, Beverly Hills Grand is just fucking so funny. Beverly Hills Grand. Uh, let's get that out. Gosh, give me another Erebor Flamesmith, please. Give it to me one time. Just one time. Oh, God. It's 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 a little deeper than this. I think it's a little deeper than this. We're coming right up on it. I <laughs> like Syngrand. Syngrand just fucking cracks me up. You know, my favorite movies, probably uh, Aliens is number one. I've seen that movie. I see that movie like once a month. <gasps> yes, come, come to father. Yes. <laughs> Planes, trains, and Grand. <laughs> Lizzie versus 12 Angry Grands. <laughs> Pulp Grand. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so funny. Grand strikes back. <laughs> the Emperor's new Grand. <laughs> it's fucking That's such a funny question. It just keeps giving. Oh, 21 Grand Street. <laughs> Schindler's Grand. <laughs> getting out of here, man. Oh, she's crying as fuck. That's really <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh. An inconvenient grand. <laughs> oh, shit. How do I go down to 17 land in this? I'll probably do this. Alright, probably something like that. Um. All right. Uh, let's let's take a peek at this. Oh. God, God, those are so funny. Those are so funny, dude. <laughs> the curious case of Benjamin Grant. Uh Oh, yeah. we have like very few creatures. Maybe we should get get rid of this battle scarred goblin man. I don't need this nonsense. Yeah, I'm. I'm get out of here. Be gone from my deck. Yeah, this is the list right here. This is the list. 15 lands, double Lorien, a bunch of uh, redraw cards. Oh, yeah. Mostly spells. All right, this is it. This is the one that this is, we're, we're voting for this. Uh, how many wins will I get? You have two minutes to decide. Let's just briefly take a peek at our... Red and blue cards. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I think this is great. I think this is actually a, a terrific card. Triggers that Elrond. Any creature. Too fast, too grand. Oh, yeah, it's so good. 
All right. All right. All right, we're perfect. No problem at all. of Smeagol against these colors, there should be a good amount of amassed things. So, so much of our blue cards actually let us look that I only put in, I put in eight blue, seven red. It might be correct to instead put in seven blue, eight red, because then I would have nine, eight in terms of sources. I think, I think actually I'm going to make that change after this. So we, don't, we, don't, we don't, we really don't do very much for quite some time. Sure, I don't care. Who's that? You okay? Hold on, let me just... Tiny puke. Oh my god, this is the greatest shit ever. What was it? Was it claim the. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Alright. Alright, alright. We're, ba we're banning conversations of Grand, because I'm not going to pay attention. The unbearable weight of massive Grand. <laughs> okay, everyone's banned. Everyone's banned. Everyone's banned. No more Grand jokes. Oh, grand is a funny word. Grand is a funny word. Holy shit, grand is good. Yeah, let's do that. Bounce the bear. I was tempted to. I think damage is the thing that I'm most concerned about right now. Oh, yeah, I thought he already attacked. this just for the damage. Need more mana before I can really make use of that in this situation. Yeah. This is this is actually going great. Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put on sub mode for a little bit. Out of the graveyard, create attack token, except it's a wraith. Alright, cool. this. Alright, there we go. We're doing some good stuff. Amazing news. Fantastic, fantastic news.
Yeah, chat, 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 like, started to... Suddenly everyone was being consumed by saying Grand. Like, no one was able to think or speak anymore. It was like, Grand, 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 Grand. And I'm like, I want to have a, a chat be a place where you can actually chat. I know that's rare on Twitch, but that's, like, what I am hoping to achieve here. Grand, 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 Grand. Smite the Deathless, fuck yeah. Like, if this thing attacks, like, it's fine. <laughs> Grand is a funny word. I have to concede that. I have to concede that. That's one of the funniest words out there. Hello, Sean. How are you? Oh, me? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh. Well, I'm Grand. <laughs> it just seems to fit in most of the ways in which anyone would say a sentence. Yeah, you, you really want to attack? Yeah, sure. All right, so we will. First and foremost, we're going to just turn you sideways because this one can actually produce mana. So we want this one. Tappy, tappy tapped first. That's fucking gross. What now? Dude, just playing Tim's. I don't think I've heard you mention, but what games are you playing on the old Steam Deck, dude? I am currently playing. <laughs> um. This was a good game. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing Crimson Land, one of my all-time favorites. It's a very fun, semi-mindless um, action game. All right, yeah, th th this went exactly as intended. Because really, really, we have, like, what the fuck just happened? What the shit is going on with my mate? Right, there we go. So we really have like nine sources of blue, eight sources of red, and I think that's going to be better. Yeah, Smite removes indestructible and exiles. It's ridiculous. Lisa Barry says, how do you feel about the full art lands this set? I feel like they look awesome, but don't convey the mana source very well. I I don't really know what I think about that. Because, I mean, part of me is like, dude, you have to preserve the clarity. Clarity is the shit that matters. Clarity, 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 clarity. And then I, like, played Dota, where some of the cosmetics literally just look like someone went <laughs> went into, like, their VFX settings. Hit Control A, Control V, like... Yeah, this, 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 this little run out is going to be a bit of a fucking problem. Now, like, yes, like, so I think that there's an argument to be made that, like, if, if you know this game well enough to choose to put in specific kinds of lands you are probably the kind of person who will also be good enough to understand that, yes, even though there's some red in this, this is actually a black land. Really? Are you joking me, game? 
This is actually a huge fucking problem. Can't do anything with this. Helps fucking so much. That's like really fun. I do kind of want that, especially given that I'm gonna horses a brun and sending some scary shit back. Go for it. Connect four. I dare you. On what they do, I might just go flamesmith, flamesmith. Do a calculated risk. I'm going to surmise that so long as I chump this 4 4, we win the game. That's that's this is my claim. This is this is about to be an, an insane amount of damage. See, I, I just, I just think I probably can't do anything about this at just this point. I think. Great. Do this. I need a double block here, which sucks. Stupid, stupid food. I think I needed to send this one back instead of this one. That was the mistake. Finish one by just attacking with all? We, that's incorrect. That's treasure? Amazing. I thought that was food. What made this treasure? Because I thought it was these ones. Well, whoopsie fucking doopsie. This is the game. This is the game.
Maybe they could have? Excuse me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, excuse me. It's okay, we're the best player here. I sneeze. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sneeze on you. Didn't mean to sneeze on you. Oh, yeah. the game. Alright, so now we win by putting this on that. Nice. Sick. Superb. Great. Really good. Now we don't win anymore? Alright, cool. Nice. Superb. Great. Good. Oh, yeah. I'm shooting this one. Dude, feels good. Feels good. Feels good to be this good. Feels grand. Oh, yes. Pizza. Dude, we're getting pizza tonight. It's going to be a big supreme pizza because I am a big supreme gamer. Oh, my God. Glass and I just chrono trigger. Just one of the greatest loveliest games of all time. I need to, like, devote a week to that game coming up here soon. Alright. Seems good to me. What's your favorite pizza? I mean, probably Supreme Pizza, I guess. I like pepperoni. Sting, the glinting dagger. And not that big of a deal. What about Super Mario RPG? I don't know. I don't know, I've never actually played that game. So there's this weirdness with the sequencing where if we go to combat, this untaps, but because I put a stop here, we don't yet go to attacker, so I can actually tap with Hathlian Dots. I actually think it seems like a fair, fair enough play here. They only have two mana open, so I don't really want to use Saruman's Trickery on that. fine to me. Both of these things now. Okay. Send that guy back. Yeah, I think they actually just kind of got hosed. Some of their plans. I actually think that our deck is, like, legit insane. 
We haven't even gotten to cast fire inscription yet, which I think is very, very good here. Seems good. All right. stop here dude yeah Chrono Trigger is just such a beautiful game oh my god I mean it's just it's movingly beautiful so I just tap this guy down swing it for another pile yeah that'll be good so that gets equipped so again there's this weirdness with the sequencing where I need to stop here pass to combat then this resolves but because I have the stop we haven't yet Advance to... Oh. That's right. So I can go in this order where I hit the attack. And I already made another mistake because I need to leave some of this mana up. Oh, well, we, we drew it anyway since we're the best player alive. Right, because it, cause it's attackers active to not active. <clears throat> and this guy can just punch straight through Theoden. Some good stuff. Dude, I'm so excited for pizza tonight. It's going to be amazing. Sure. Ow. So I think I just swing with both of these, right? Next time we draw a spell, we just insta-win. I mean, we, we might lose the 4-4, but yeah, I think it's completely fine. This deck feels so good. Like, so good. Like this, this Hathlion Knots is, is incredible. It's like deals one damage. Nice, really superb. I think I actually played that in the way that I would have liked to play that. Damn, Shadow Facts. Damn. Okay, so now we can swing Go Dingo. Alright, so the easiest would just be to draw a spell and win the game. When Shadow Facts attacks, we put a creature with lesser power from your hand onto the battlefield, tap them attacking. All right, draw a card. Dude, Shadow Facts is actually nuts. That's great. Uh, this is another human. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Overcounted a little bit, but I still think that's fine. Want him to see the fire inscription. Alright. So far, so good. Dude, I am loving this list. I'm in love with this list. Three wins. Right in the shins.
I think that this is actually not... I think it's okay with Smite the Deathless. Yeah, having a lot of these Hathlia Knots is really nice. Alright, so that's good. So I think that, like, we need to be really targeted with the Smite the Deathless. Oh, okay, everything's great. Or this, is, this is the easiest game that has ever existed. I love... The video game. And this went a little too perfectly, honestly. Don't need another one of those, especially when we have Arwen's Gift. This is a legend, so this actually just costs three. Mmm, so good. So I'm just literally gonna smite the Deathless here. Defense Operation Bing Bong to the face. The next card that comes down, I'm going to Hathlian Knots or Soothing a Smeagol, and then I'll Arwen's Gift, and I can still have Hathlian Knots out. All right. They kind of have to take this, because if they have Orcs too, you know, what do you do? I'm just going to rotate this one. I don't want that as much as I want one of my cheaper spells. There we go. That's a good one. Two or more legendary creatures? Oh my god, reading is what? Fundamental. Now I sure wish I'd kept that dunk ability. Well, what can you do? I'm gonna do this. Yeah, treason is probably gonna be pretty good here. I think I want to do this. I just want to get back the Soothing of Schmeagol right away, because then this just negates this entirely. Yeah, looks good to me. Down to seven. We're going to need to chill a turn, but I think that we're just so, so far ahead right now that it's okay. My opponent attacks, and, you know, ama amazing stuff for us. So we get to scry to I'll just get this and get that to the bottom. So this is where we just hang. Now we have the Smeagol, we get to Send that one home. Oh. All right, it resolves. So that does die, though. So that's a lot of cards spent to do that. It's pretty, pretty tough to lose in this position. Oh, my opponent making such a mistake. Yeah, so we did it. I wonder if we still would have won if my opponent had just left this one back. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Still would have won. We have not even gotten the opportunity to play the Fiery Inscription. We have not even gotten the opportunity to do it yet. And it feels like it'll be good when we do it. 
feels like it'll be good. Dude, we, we, we can just be so aggressive. We can be so aggressive. I feel, I feel like I'm smart. I don't know if I am smart, but that's really what games are about, is validation. That's, this is a nasty, nasty little hand here. Alright. Birthday escape. <laughs> Phantom says, don't worry, we don't know if you're smart either, Sean. Ugh, uh. I think the smart thing to do is actually to play the Color Gear Survivor. I think. Make sure that I have the... Whenever an opponent draws a card, except the person they draw, and you should do one damage to any target that I'm at. What the shit in the fuck? Yeah, this card is... Whenever it enters the battlefield, whenever an opponent draws a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, it deals one damage to any target and then a mass works one. This is the most powerful card that I've ever fucking seen. damage to any target and a mass one. That's fucked up. Alright, this is the game. Okay, so I think that we need to do is we just need to isolation or thonk it. Doesn't really let us do that much more, but it is maybe the out that we have. There it is. We do this. So, what we're looking for right now is fiery inscription. just looking for fire inscription and my opponent has been so fucked on mana this might actually help wow we could have we could have we could have done some countering we could have like saved Saruman's trickery I assume they were just gonna instantly play it this card is ridiculous I mean, it's like, it's like actually quite funny how good this shit is. Alright, my opponent's just giving me... Actually, we need we should play this first. We should do this now.
bleeding has stopped. Okay. Jesus Christ. Like, th th this is hilarious. Like, we, we, we actually might fucking lose. Holy shit, they're at a third land. <laughs> they, oh my god, they have a third land. I'm gonna fucking puke. Alright. Don't want that anymore, I want spells. Did I? One fucking card. It's gonna cook me. I gotta block with this and hope I can just burn them out with like some sort of fucking draw stuff. I mean, our deck is insane, but this is like one of the single best cards that has ever existed fucking ever. Flash 1-1 one, one that just... As your opponent draws, you just make infinite shit? Like, that's insane. Okay, well this this gives us another turn, so that's good. Now here's, here's a slightly odd play. I need to play this because I want to maximize the amount of draws. Or, excuse me, maximize the amount of plays that I can make. So if I play a land this turn, and then I draw several lands. One, two, three, four, five. five and this is 12, so I have three lands left in the deck. Three lands, two lands left in the deck. Okay, so that, that's a pretty dense amount of stuff. So my opponent's at nine. I can't fucking believe... How insane this is. Like, this whole game is ridiculous. And I think we're actually going to win if... Les Diogenes Incarnate just somehow has, like... Has another Orcish Bowmaster. So I should hate says it only pings the blue cards. That is true. We should make sure that it's using the red here. Because we have mostly... Draw three cards. Bang, bang. And these are only instants and sorceries, so if I draw another fire inscription, it's not it's not gonna help. Oh, that's right, it doesn't have two adheres it feels. I needed to play this beforehand. Tap this and swing. Fucked up. I fucked up. I needed to play this and then tap that and then swing. I forgot about the damage that this can deal. We're already in the attack phase. Tap four blocks. Doesn't do it because then I'll deal one, two, three, four, five. Bring them to two. Not seven. One, two, three, four, five. If I cast Hithlane Knots, I needed to play this in main one. I think this is better to do this. Like this. Really good. 
And they just like untap this, and I'm like, Ugh. Mamma mia. Yeah, I needed fire inscription and then tap, and then that would have been actually would have been eight damage. Really? Holy shit. I mean, it looks like we win, but Jesus. Holy shit. Guess I should have waited. Alright, we won. <laughs> we fucking won, man. Alright. Oh my god, we literally beat that one card just because they had no land at all. And it was so close. Oh my god. Our deck is... Our deck is a house. Alright. The undefeated streak continues. You can have the most busted is it deck of all time and your opponent can have a single Orcish Bowmaster. I'm like sending it back to the hand, like putting it in their deck and I'm like, he just keeps fucking casting an Orcish Bowmaster. I can't handle it. Like that was actually way too stressful for just like a card that he's like, I play the Orcish Bowmasters and I'm like fucking having the equations flying over my head. I'm like working so hard. I'm like deep in the tank. I'm like missing lines and shit. And he's like, why well, I duh, I played the Bowmaster. Fucking hell, man. But we did beat the card. I am part of the 30%. Speaking of which, did anyone watch the 3%? I watched like half of an episode. I um, I was hung over because I'm, you know, in my 30s and I'd had two beers the previous night. So I'd, I was completely bleary-eyed and focused and dehydrated and was on the verge of going to the hospital from those two beers. And I was just like, you know what? Let me just open up something on Netflix and nap. And then I opened up the 3% and watched half an episode and passed out. And I was unable to figure out um, how to stay awake. And then I just forgot about it until I said the 30% right now. Oh, Teme, you're watching Silo? Silo is good. Silo is good. It is like really, really superlatively good. So that was really good. I hope they do a season two. Yeah, well, I mean... Okay, what's happening? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's hang out. See what happens. We're opening it up again. See if it opens. Okay. All right. Are you playing using Steam? I'm not, Timmy. I am not. Verms is Foundation Season 2 coming out soon. Mixed reviews on Season 1, but I really enjoyed it. That's weird, man. Because everything I've watched of Foundation was great. I just think, I just, I like don't, I just don't believe any review number or like, User reviews, percentages on Rotten Tomatoes, I just, I no longer believe that any of that is real. The, the more that I just go, let me look up the premise of something, and then I'm going to watch that shit. Strictly the better time that I have. Like, I remember watching some movie, and I was like, man, that movie was fucking awesome, I love that. And I looked it up, and it had like 13% on Rotten Tomatoes. Fucking LOL, man. <laughs> I just like, I just open stuff. That's it. 
And in particular, social media is just outlier groups. It's like literally just outlier groups, man. Do a thing with a with a, with a creature, and if it isn't a creature, then don't don't ever speak to me again. What what does this card say? Feel a time. Everything is astroturfed. No, I just think that like. I think the world did a social media experiment where they said, what if everyone was just given a big fucking megaphone? What if everyone just had a big ass, huge ass fucking megaphone? What, what do we think about that? Like, what do we think? I think the answer is like, it just, it doesn't, it is false that if everyone has a megaphone, that the best voices rise to the top. I think it's just rather that megaphone people's voices rise to the top. Like the loudest, most extreme stuff. That's what actually spikes on up. Oh, fuck yeah. And that's, and that's it. Like, I think that most of my friends, I mean, they'll they'll open Twitter, they'll look at Twitter, you know. They will sometimes pop into Reddit, but most of them socialize on small discords. Oh yes, have you spoken to my friend Dunland? Dunland Crabane. This one, get in there. Yeah, and so I think that there's like these, and I feel like people have started to catch on to this trend on Twitter, where it's just like, wow, there's like all these extremes that are just fucking yelling at each other. Ugh. And it's just so clearly extreme. So like, you know, I just don't think it's representative. But I also think that there's things like Reddit that I, I feel is also sort of in that range where it's not about extreme assholes it's about extremes within that group like for instance i like books i just don't go to slash r slash books because i don't know there's just no, I, nothing to talk about if i want to like find a book i will literally go directly to um you know a site that, that lists the premises of books and shit like that like that um And similarly, like, if I see the reviews of just a whole bunch of people in aggregate, our X, Oh, that's really good. So do I want to... What do I want to do here? Do this first? I think I like doing this first. Oh my god, it's Orcish fucking Bowmasters again, and I could have fucking countered it. Holy shit. Draw, draw, draw. Holy fuck. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, it only pings once? Alright, fuck yeah, we're gonna win this shit. Oh no, it does draw three. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ow. 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 All right, well, it's time to start counting. Is this food? Holy shit. How the fuck do I do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, I could, I could have left this up, but I thought that the odds of my opponent having a card that deals four, summons a 4-4, four, four, 
was so low for two mana. It was so low. It was just so low is what I thought. Gotta kill the Orcish Bowmasters. I gotta kill it. Really good for us. Hi, here I am. I wish to hit you. Yeah, take that, turkey. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we'd be at three. Makes things a little bit trickier. Oh, fucking Smeagol, you fuck. Yeah, I mean, we're super fucking dead to that one card. Man, damn, 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 damn. If I had left back the counter magic, we would have been okay. Oh, hey, Candle starts this rank. Perfect timing. I still think we're going to be able to go to the seven wins, but, like, the fact that we... I've been up against two Orcish Bowmasters. Like, that card is so ridiculous. I mean, the amount of value that just blew up in my face. Dude, they cast that. They killed two of my cards, made a 4-4. For a two mana. I mean, that's, that's the most insane fucking card I've ever seen, man. I mean, that's that's literally the most busted shit in the universe. Because the thing is that, like, what makes it... Like, let's pretend it only did this. 2-2 two, two flash that summons a 1-1, one, one, summons another 1-1, one, one, and deals one damage. I mean, that's pretty fucking good. Yeah, this looks great. Delay with hit lane. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Let, let's inscript. Let's inscript. That is a real fucking issue for me, huh? All right. Well. Appears to be. All right. I think this is actually going to go okay. So we have the fire inscription down. Surely. Take the soothing of Smeagol, honestly. Oh my god, is the pizza here? Oh my god, yes. Uh oh. It's it's fork party. Alright, so here's it's pretty straightforward what we do. We do is we play the flamesmith. We pass the turn. All right, so I can make this a little ring baron turkey. Let's just see what villain chooses to do. Is it, 
uh, it, we're actually not going to be taking that much damage. Maybe three or four this turn. I'm tempted to do this right now, rather than soothing of Smeagol anything. I don't think we need that much more damage popping off. Nice. I did I did do this correctly. Alright, so let me just do this. Turn target non-token? Holy shit. Whoops. Should have swung first. Ooh, I'm making mistakes. I am making mistakes. Oh, Grubby raided us? Oh my god, Grubby! Hell yeah, Grubby. And grubby related friends. Hi, I'm Sean. We're having ourselves a great day. Play a little Magic the Gathering. I know Grubby from the good old RTS genre. I played StarCraft, so oh, there it is. Grubby's the GLHF Kona Clap. Oh my god, Grubby. VIP Grubby. Welcome. You're gonna have a good old blue discard a card? Um What do I discard here? Isolation at Orthonk, honestly. Dude, yeah, uh, Grubby, I've been I've been watching you uh, play Divinity Original Sin 2. How are you enjoying it? One, two, three. I think that one, two, three is probably good. Yeah, let's do like this. So good, dude. You played? I haven't. I haven't, but it's been recommended to me a lot. It's one of those games that I've always. It's one of those games that I feel like you need to set aside 40 hours to play. It's either zero hours or 40 hours, and that's it. Uh, for those of you who are joining and wondering what the heck we're playing, we're doing a Magic the Gathering draft where most of the time, if you're doing a draft, you want to have something like 15 or 16 creatures, six or seven spells to support those creatures, something like that. Um, but what we've done is we have a deck with like eight creatures and things that say whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, deal two damage to each opponent. Hey, that's what I was going to do. And in effect, what this lets us do is just deal a ton of damage to our opponent building it up over time. So for instance, I will send you cast this spell, which sends these two back to the hand. I don't really want that. If we draw one mana, we win. Hey, Nick. Oh my God, and my brother's here. Oh my God. Hey, Nick, after this, um, I'm really close to just like, you know, Turning off my stream, like within 20, 30 minutes. If you want, if you want the raid. Well, that kind of stinkies, but that's all right. Oh, it tapped incorrectly. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Tap, tap. Blue mana one time. Blue mana one time. It's actually not bad. I haven't even drawn this guy once. So my opponent needs to have some way to deal six to my face, and there's there's a way that it can work. There's a way that it can work, which is they cast a spell, ping me for one. Cast another spell, ping me for one, set me at four, and then sacrifice the Erebor Flamesmith to an improvised club and shoot me in the head. Or Gandalf's Rebuke, that's another way, yep. Man, we were close, 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 close. Sure. Let's 
still block this. Yeah, we're doing good. We are doing good. You're jinxing yourself by calling it that? that oh my god, we are so above jinxing. I've never jinxed anything in my entire life. I am he who is unjinxable. Thank god this is just haste and not trample. Alright, I'm gonna get my hand away from the space bar. Block like this. And here we go. Tap this, inscription deals two, boom, done. Woo! Uh, Nick, this, this is gonna be our final game coming up. Tasteless, do you want my raid? Can I trust you with all of these people? I mean, we're six and one. Six and one, there's there's the glorious seven wins. He said above, he just woke up. <laughs> Nick, you have 20 seconds. <laughs> Man, all, all the cool RTS gamers are here. All right. All right, here we go. This is the game, Airborne Flamesmith, Fire Inscription. Dude, like, you couldn't, you couldn't genetically engineer a better opening hand for us. Uh-oh, the cat's nearby. The cat can step on the space bar and ruin everything. Airborne Flamesmith, okay. Oh my god, we have Fear Dragon here! Rubby Rubby, whom everyone lovey. What a delight to see you. Dude, this last game is gonna go fast. The only way we lost to the Orcish Bowmaster. All right, yep. All right, so I'm going to cast Hith Hithlane Knots. Ping for one, ping for two, tap him. I'm actually content to get this. Swing with my little guy. All right, it's villain's turn. The fan of delicious flavors of Sean, I sent a highlighted message earlier you never saw. I'm sorry then. I'll scroll up and see if you find it. I don't actually see your highlighted message anywhere. Just, just copy paste it to me, you know? Alright, so swing for one is absolutely fine. Flash of Balrog. Sure. I think this is completely fine. If my opponent plays something, I will shoot it with this. Bang. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play Treason of Isengard. We're going to get back Ithlane Knots. Shoot for two. I mean, this is just literally so busted. This is so busted. Let me just send it again as agents go. Yeah, just, just copy paste it, you know. Just type it again. Oh my god, I'm gonna tap this. Oh, it's it's just too powerful. Sure. So we can likely win right now if I just draw on Arwen's gift. Ping for two. There's the land. Cast a spell on this. Ping it. And there it is. And there it is. A clean 7 and 1 to end the day. Oh my god. Now who said that Erebor Flamesmith was the bait of this set? Who said that that was the bait of this set? We Like, we literally only lost to Orcish Bowmasters, and we beat Orcish Bowmasters once. Yes! With that... It's pizza. It's pizza time, but not before we answer. I'm a fan of delicious flavors remarks. Um, I'm a fan of delicious flavors. Says uh, Dina Trejo will be at a con I'm attending in August. I'm just curious how working with him was. If you had any suggestions of uh, things to ask about him, uh, things to ask him. Oh my God, Danny Trejo is an incredibly sweet person, and is just constantly talking about how lucky he is and 
just how life is blessed and you know it's kind of funny given how he always plays like a like a gruff criminal <laughs> on so many of his uh works but he's just he's just a very sweet pleasant person um what would i ask him Ooh, i don't know When I interacted with him, you know, he just talked about Trejo's Tacos and projects he was working on, films that he was filming recently and what it was like. Because, I mean, here's the thing. If you think about, like, what you would come talk to me about, I just talk about what I've been up to lately. Oh, hey, I just streamed some Mecha Bell. I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to stream Mecha Bell tomorrow. Oh, playing Age of Empires 2. Age of Empires 2 is fucking awesome. I want to do more of that. But also, this Lord of the Rings draft set is pretty fun, too. Ugh. You know, like, like it's what is actually happening at work. And even though, you know, with someone who has, like, a celebrity status, they're still just a person doing stuff, talking about what they're doing. Uh, you know, maybe a favorite project that they worked on that they're interested in. You know, a recent project they thought was interesting. I don't know. Th those are the things that I always ask people. But, you know, I, I, I tend to view people just as being people. So anytime I ask anyone that question, they always seem to have dope answers. I'm leaving you all. I'm going to play Mechabellum tomorrow. I am going to play Brotato on Thursday. I don't know how good I will find Brotato. Maybe it's good enough to just stream for the four hours. Maybe it's good enough to stream for like 20 million hours. I don't know. 